I'm here with the babies, and this is their first day of homeschool. So, because their school is closed because of coronavirus, I'm going to start homeschooling them. So, yeah, this is going to be the first day. This is kindergarten. So, at certain parts of the day, so in the morning, I'll do the kindergartners. In the afternoon, I'll do pre-K and then first grade. So, yeah, I'm going to be teaching all the kids. So, this is the first day. This is kindergarten. So, the first thing we're going to be doing is reading a reading out of this textbook thing. So, yeah. Okay, it says the Billy Goat in, in the Garden. Once upon a time in Mexico, there lived a farmer and his wife. They had a big, beautiful garden they were very proud of. In the garden, they grew corn and potatoes and lettuce and tomatoes and squash and chili peppers. Only... Wait, one morning the farmer and his wife discovered eating all of their chili peppers. Oh no, what shall go? Wait, what shall we do? cried the farmer's wife. The naughty billy goat is going to eat all of our chili peppers and then he'll eat up everything else in the garden. She waved her apron in front of the billy goat, but the billy goat went on went right on eating. Um the farmer tried to push the billy goat out of the garden, but still the billy goat went on eating. Went right on eating. Okay. Is there part two? Um, let me see. Yep. I have an idea, said the farmer. Rooster, rooster, he called. Please help us. Okay, there's three pages of this book. I'm not going to read it all to you guys. All right, guys. So we just finished. So, um, kids, you are going to tell me something you learned in this book. Okay. Or wait, no. You are going to tell me a question you have for the billy goat. Okay. All right, Michaela, you go first. Um, I would ask the billy goat why he's eating the chili peppers, even though the farmer told him not to. Okay, that's a good one. How about you, Patty? Um, I would tell the billy goat um, to stop eating the chili peppers. Well, what's a question you have for him? Or I guess it doesn't have to be questions. Just tell me something you guys would say to the billy goat. I would say stop eating the chili peppers. Selena? Um, I would say stop driving the wife and his farmer crazy because he's eating all their food. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right, Eliza? Um, I would ask it, I would ask, um, why the goat keeps on, um, doing what he's not supposed to. Oh, cool. I would tell the goat to stop, like, eating the chili peppers and, like, being stupid. Yeah, okay. Oh, what? He has other food to eat. Okay. He could go somewhere else. Okay, Anna. Um, Alexi, how about you? Um, I would say to him to stop eating chili peppers and to eat something else, like grass or something. But I don't know what they eat, so. Okay. Um, I would say to the goat that he could eat the chili peppers and the, the wife and the farmer are overreacting and they could like go to the store and get food. Well, back then there wasn't stores. You had to grow your own food. Oh, um, so they didn't have anything else. Couldn't they go to the forest and get some berries? Well, it looks like they live in a sunny place. Maybe there aren't forests around. Forests around. Oh, maybe they could go to a friend's house? Maybe, but back then you basically had to grow your own food. You couldn't rely on others. Oh, um, then I would tell the goat, to eat half and then save half because he needs to live too and the farmer and his wife do. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, Eve, what would you say to the, the goat? Um, I would say um, to the goat, I would say to leave some for the farmer and his wife. So you're basically saying what Eliza said? Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Aspen? Um, I would say to the goat 
to stop eating the chili peppers because the wife and the farmer probably worked really hard to grow that those peppers. And um, so, and I would say that he could have some, but not the not all of them because there's two bushes of them. Great, that's a great job. Okay, um, Ava, what would you say to the farmer and his wife? Or not the farmer and his wife, what would you say to the goat? Um, I would say... Hmm. I would say to um, leave some for the farmer and his wife. Okay, Eve? I would say that, um, I would say to stop eating the peppers. I would say to eat some of them, but not like every single one in the garden. Yeah. All right, kids, that was the lesson for today. Now we're going to move on to math. Okay. All right, so we're going to work on math problems. So let me see if there's any. I think this is a reading book, so. Oh, math. Okay. This stuff is like solving problems. Okay. Well, these are just little things. Okay, never mind. So I'm just gonna tell you guys some, ask you guys the answers to some problems because I got a paper that says problems on it. So yeah. Okay, Michaela, what is two plus five? Um, four. No. If you have five and you have two, how many fingers am I holding up? Seven! Yes! All right. Patty, what's 10 plus 10? Um, 10. Nope. So, so you see 10 fingers, right? Yeah. If I hold up another 10 fingers, how many fingers do you see? 10? No, so count from 10. So if you have 10, count from there. And count how many fingers I have. What the number is. Tell me what the number is. Once, once you do all that. 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, very good. Okay. Selena, um, what is 3 plus 3? 6. Great job. You got that off the top of your head. All right, Eliza. What is 6 plus 6? Um, 4. I mean, um, two? No. Ten? No, so think about if I have three fingers. Wait, what did I ask you? Yeah. So if I have six fingers,